Hi everyone, I'm Whitney from WhitneySews.com. Earlier this month, Jeremiah and I attended the Norman Medieval Fair, which is a free event with tons of vendors, demonstrations of trades, jousting, music, and a lot more. We love attending every year and dressing up in costume. This year I decided at 10.30 the night before that I wanted to make a new skirt to wear to the Norman Medieval Fair and so I was inspired by the Gibbous clothing line and also a tutorial that Addie Marie posted on YouTube a few years ago. Um, I'll have a link below to the Gibbous website and to the tutorial that kind of inspired what I was going to do. I finished the skirt at 1.30 a.m. and I really like how it turned out. I used a couple of shirt sleeves, some pant legs, a t-shirt, some lace, and a lightweight green fabric and kind of just scrapped it all together and I just really like how it turned out. To make it easier and quicker, I made the skirt using a length of cording instead of doing a yoke and a zipper for the waist. I tied the cord around my mannequin and cut random pieces from my fabric and tucked them under the cord and penned. I did this all the way around. Then I took it off and to the sewing machine and carefully sewed right below the cord to form a sort of casing. And I also sewed over the ends of the cord at the beginning and end so the fabric wouldn't slide off when I took it, the skirt off. Then I put it back on the mannequin and pinned in various spots down the fabric so that they wouldn't gap open while I was wearing the skirt. And I went back to the machine and crazy stitched in some of those areas. It would have looked better if I had done this with a walking foot, but I didn't have one. Um, but next time I go home to my parents' house, I might borrow my mom's walking foot and add some more like crazy stitching in different places to um, just finish off the look of the skirt. Since I didn't get to do that before wearing it, I wore my tutu underneath that I made by cutting off an 80s dress just to make sure I was covered. My favorite part of the skirt is the side. I left the side open so I would have room to get into the skirt. Um, then I got the idea to use some snaps from an old shirt sleeve and I placed them in a way that they can be snapped once the skirt is on to attach the front and the back. I really like my skirt and I actually got a lot of compliments on it and even was complimented by the lady that I buy my corsets from, Damsel in this dress. Um, she just really liked the skirt and that means so much to me because I absolutely love her stuff and she has so much talent. I hope this video inspires you to give a new project or an idea a try. This is something I've been wanting to do for years and just never really had the right like inspiration to get started. Um, and then that one night it just kind of all clicked and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. By the way, if you want to make your own skirt like mine but you don't have a mannequin, you can just tie the cording around your own waist and then um, just follow the same process from there except you'll be... Um, putting the fabric on yourself and carefully penning and taking it off to sew it instead of doing it on a mannequin. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my scrappy skirt and I'll be back soon with more tutorials. Bye!